So I'm in Tillamook and there's the Tillamook factory. That's pretty cool. That's a cute thing. They just, they just remodeled this about a year ago. Looks like uh, there's no issue here. Getting a uh, tour nowadays. Quite a few people. Anyways, that's Tillamook. All right, guys. I figured it out. We're gonna go to Cape Lookout, which is, uh, it's a nice campground. It's a state park. It's more than I definitely wanted to pay, but it's okay. Um, Well, I made it, finally got a spot, and it's actually a gorgeous campground. Um, I'm in, uh, I'm at uh, Cape Lookout State Park and Campground, and the uh, park is not full today, and I was able to land myself a spot for today and tomorrow. I went a little bit further than I was planning so I went ahead and added another day. So I will do a full series on this campground. I've been here before, but never with my RV. I had a tent camp here, and that whole tent area is closed for the season uh, until later this season, I should say. And uh, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, set up, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'm excited I got here. All right. All right, guys, I made it to my campsite and I got my bed made and my rig set up and ready to go. And there's my queen size bed over there. I had never shown you my bedroom. There, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's kind of nice. I, I doubled the mattress and then we got another mattress for Cheryl. It's a queen, it's called a short queen mattress in that same six inches just comfort I'll tell you that's a that's a learning experience as well so anyways here's our campsite look at that huh? nobody next to me there probably will be it's pretty full here right now it's full right but I like that I have this whole area back here and I got I can pull out the awning and fire up my fire and uh, yeah so I got myself all set up and I'm ready to just kind of get unwind. Uh, pfft, can I talk? Just kind of unwind from that drive. So I, uh, I, I thought I knew a lot about dispersed camping. <laughs> well, I guess I can't, you can't rely on internet right now. I was talking to the park manager here. I was telling her about my troubles and she said yeah it's all because of covid and that makes sense but when you say it's open and it's big old green light saying open on google uh then just shut the thing off until covid's done you know what i mean <laughs> so anyways I'm, I'm, I'm actually in a really good spot look at not much here um, at all my trailer's perfect perfectly level that, that was a nice little spot, but it was uneven, as you can see over here. I, I didn't want to have to deal with that uh, 
bump in the in the uh, that's where the tires wear down but it was a nice sight and if you look over here that's the bay over there that's the uh, Mahalem Bay excuse me I'm in the wrong <laughs> that's Cape Lookout Bay <laughs> that's where the oysters are yeah so yeah this is Oyster Bay I forgot we're not in Mahalem now so goodness gracious I go to a lot of places therefore I don't remember where I went um, so what's on the agenda well let's see it took me four hours to find a spot today so it's gonna be uh, a little bit of relaxation I think and uh, probably do some editing since it's our oh my yeah I think it's almost yeah it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon and that's okay I don't you know it's called camping time I'm not in any hurry so I think I'm going to enjoy the scenery and the, and the birds and the just relaxation. And then I'm going to be real active uh, vlogging this uh, adventure. I'll walk down to the beach um, and get uh, the sights in for you all. Um, give you guys a report today I am boondocking so that is one thing. Okay so that's, let's talk about boondocking. Um, I'm in a campsite that's got no hookups, which is perfectly fine with me. And what I like about it is that the price is right. I got a beautiful site. I got nobody around me. I've got nature around me. This is cool, right? $21 a night at a state park. Um, I'm usually paying about 45, um, 30, 37 to 45 depending on which uh, which park you go to that's pretty steep but you do get um, yeah you get electricity and water hookups but I got everything I need now so I'm okay with all that um, and since there's nobody around me I got out outdoor speakers here I think I'll fire up the uh, sound system put out the awning uh, put my my big chair up uh, maybe get the campfire kind of ready to go and uh, put my feet up and maybe later I don't know we'll see I am gonna make some dinner tonight um, oh, and then tomorrow night I decided to stay two nights so I um, I'm gonna go with the um, the meal that I want to make for you guys is going to be a, a caramelized onion mushroom cheeseburger with a brioche bun and I'm gonna do that on the Blackstone uh, I'm gonna use my spice mix uh, I'm gonna share one more time that recipe I've been actually getting people asking me about that again so I'm going to officially put my recipe out for you guys and I'll put it in the link below because um, uh, some of my friends out there who I've traveled with they knew I've, I've been a chef all my life and then I have a recipe I'm putting out and I'm showing it off and now they're saying well just don't tell us put it down there so I will I'll put it down there for y'all uh, let's see what else am I gonna do I think uh, that's it for now uh, probably uh, make my coffee from scratch in the morning and I'll uh, kind of set up my tripod with my uh, GoPro or um, one of my other maybe my other camera that can be on the tripod and uh, I, I have to have two hands to do that because you have to grind it and uh, so anyways that's the plan um, all right guys I'm here I'm, I'm ready it's camp time we'll see you guys soon bye it is a little chilly so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the fire and I'm gonna call it an afternoon um, oh, I got some olives. I'm gonna have some olives and some crackers and cheese and just kick back and enjoy the camp life. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Maybe this is a good time to ask you. Subscribe if you like what you're watching. Give me a thumbs up and, uh, you know, that's notification bell. We'll tell you all the new stuff that's coming on. Wow, cold times, man. So uh, just a quick tip. If you ever camp in Oregon, all the state parks have an amazing system that every single one of their 
locations. We're in Cape Lookout today, and I wanted to share this with you because some people don't even realize it. What's really cool about these maps, not only does it provide information about the campground, but it also gives you information about what's around here and what to do and what to see. I love to hike, and there is plenty of hiking trails nearby. If I didn't know better, and I was driving around in Oregon, I wouldn't know. So I highly recommend always picking up one of these at the office where you check in. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Anyway, so as I was saying, the fire, you know, if you haven't built a fire before, <laughs> I cheat. There's right in here is a little fire starter right there. That's all I usually do. I buy about a dozen at a time on Amazon and they only cost around seven bucks and I just put them in my background case. I got I got that you know what that that'll work out just fine. Hey, so I just go ahead and chop up a couple logs into some smaller kindling. I like that light there and I've got myself a teepee ready to go and I got a two stacks of wood over here when you got a couple stacks of wood that's good for about two hours and uh, so just a rule of thumb ooh, bad lighting just a rule of thumb if you want to have a good campfire get at least a couple bundles just for a day I always keep a couple on the rig that way I never have to go out sourcing for firewood and then if I run low I get a couple more next time I'm in town and uh, when I go camping I try to keep three bundles that'll get me through a couple days of one hour to two hour fires um, I usually get them up pretty high and then you know if I'm gonna have dessert like the s'mores that we always have <laughs> um, I, I keep an extra bundle uh, uh, a lot of you probably already know this but some of you might not, so I thought I'd share a little tidbit, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Until later. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I'm going to do some uh, magic. <laughs> wow, did I do that? Yes, I did. No, I chopped them up and I put them in here. Alright, so I'm going to do some sliced mushrooms and caramelize some onions. And I'm going to make some cheeseburgers on the flat grill today. One more time. Awesome. There's my onion. All right, now I got the, the mushrooms are ready. I got the burgers out, ready to go. I'll throw those on the griddle. And uh, I'm going to caramelize these mush these, excuse me, I'm going to caramelize these onions first. And then I'm going to throw on some uh, mushrooms. And uh, I'll bring you guys along. Uh, this is a super easy recipe. All, all you really need are these three things. Uh, hamburgers and the mushrooms and the onions and of course you can't go without my spice mix so i will give that a little toss in on top of my onions and my mushrooms guys i got some brioche burger buns at uh, fred meyer um and i'm going to toast these as well on the griddle so uh, i'm going to need these as well so i'm adding this to that list Okay, one other thing I do is I got this um, fancy, like, swirl top open uh, canister for my oil that I take out there to grease my grill. And I use a blend of olive oil and canola oil. And uh, the blend is 70% is canola oil, 30% olive oil. Just put it in extra virgin olive oil and the canola oil just um, 
it's just what I've been using for years to cook with. Um, it, it, it goes a little bit farther with the olive oil, but I just don't want that flavor in all my foods. So I use this blend and it's a good alternative. I thought I'd make some dinner. Sounds good. Some grilled burgers on a brioche bun with uh, mushrooms and onions. And I like my onions caramelized. Nice, crispy, uh, golden brown yum on my burger. I don't know what it is with that. It just adds so much flavor. And uh, so I'll show you how I make those. I just use the burgers from uh, Costco. The, the um, I, I want to say they, they're quarter pound. No. Hmm. I went blank. A third a pound each that's it so uh i i throw on uh one of those and two or two sometimes i'll have one and a half i don't know what it is i just don't overeat but <laughs> but i one seems to be just not enough so all right guys so i've got everything kind of set up here i've got my mushrooms the onions i just chopped up um i throw the burgers on frozen it's super easy it's no, don't have to defrost if you're using this grill and then my buns. So uh, the Blackstone feels like it's getting pretty good. Yeah, it's smoking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it um, oiled up and throw on the onions because they take about 20 minutes. And then I'll throw the burgers on shortly after. So let me uh, set this up and I'll be right back. I I almost forgot the cheese. How could I have a cheese? So I like the American cheese on this recipe only. I usually use Tillamook cheddar or white cheddar. Um, but for this, it just, I don't know why, it just tastes better with that brioche bun. And I, I think it has a lot to do with that sweeter bun that we're gonna use here. So you can see I'm not level and that's okay. I, I'm not worried about the level, but Put those onions on first. They take the longest. If we're looking for that caramelized. And I got my fancy spatula here. Now my my barbecue rub is is always important to put on at the beginning of the stage because you want it to get into that onion. So I'm just gonna put about half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon. Yeah, that's enough right there. Now, mmm, that smells good. And then I'm just going to drip a little bit more oil on these onions so that they have some oil to them. And put them all together. Now, if I don't want to use my spice mix, just a pinch of salt will work just fine. Um, so I have this set on low, not too high, okay? Because uh, I want to slow roast. I don't want to burn them, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and I seasoned the hamburger uh, on one side and they're frozen like I said. Let's see if I can get them off. And I, oops, as I drop the burger. Okay. Now that has enough grease in it so it doesn't need um, oil. So I add a little bit more of this spice mix to that. And uh, I'll move it around a little bit just to make sure. Even with coated, I did the other one too, you see. So it's ready to go. And I'll put that on the grill. So now I've got, I know it sounds funny. I'm not a, I'm all about fresh meat, but these burgers at Costco, I can't, I can't beat them. And if I use fresh patty, fresh ground beef, which I do on a regular basis, I'll always um, put this seasoning in my burger before I make the patties. It just gives it so much more flavor. You know what's funny is I don't, I don't not cook off this griddle without my seasoning. I don't know why, but look at those onions already starting to turn out nicely. Yep. So far so good. Now, those will be nice and uh, juicy for that burger. Mm. Okay, now they're starting to... I'm going to turn up the heat just a little bit on this burger. Okay, yeah. okay, so here's my dials here. 
I'm on low here and a medium here. So I'm gonna give these uh, onions again another toss here. I don't need to mess with them too much. They they pretty much just sit there and get nice and and brown. That's what I'm after. Translucent in color, meaning see through is what we're after. We're not we're we're about a quarter of the way there on those. And those burgers are defrosting quickly, as you can see. No issue there. And uh, we've got plenty of seasoning on those as well. And now I'm going to probably get these mushrooms ready pretty soon here. Here's my digital thermometer. I'm going to reset that maybe so... Ooh, it's cold out here. 54 degrees. Alright, so we're going to see where we are. Make sure. We're at 150. 168 which is perfect that guy's done and that one's done 170 so uh, you know just to be sure I'm gonna get it yeah so you always double check your numbers by going not so deep but uh, I now that I poked it I can see it's coming out looking pretty good there yeah nice I can just tell we're right about 135 on from this guy here. So this one's done. And uh, now I'm gonna toss these on the mushrooms some more. They're looking good. Look at those, yeah. They'll be done just in time. These onions are looking super. So I got my bun out. So I'm gonna put this on the flat grill here. Get it toasted. These, uh, these wouldn't be cheeseburgers without the cheese, right? So I'm going to put the sliced American on there. Now, again, I do love cheddar and white cheddar and Fontina cheese. Those are my favorites, but for this particular burger, I don't know why, these just taste so good with that American burger. It just reminds me of when I was a kid, mac and my, back in the day when mom would make uh, homemade uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, look at those mushrooms are starting to get just right. Okay. And I made enough of two. I'll probably just have a bun for my, my first burger. And then my second burger, I'm going to have some mushrooms uh, just as uh, without the bun. Uh, Gosh, look at that, guys. Huh? What do you think? Write your comments below. Super easy recipe. Uh, you guys can do your magic at, at your campground. Look at all one one meal right here. Just done perfectly. Okay. Let's take a look at the bun. It feels like it's there. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. Okay. So I'm going to build this. I, I'm going to try. Okay. Without burning my hand. All right. Perfectly toasted. <laughs> I came back. Guys, this burger, it just, ah, uh, yum. Okay, so I went with some uh, macaroni salad instead. Just a simple, I had some in there that I bought at Freddy's. But uh, <laughs> I had to show it one more time. So I'm going to sit here and eat this burger and guess what i'm watching i'm watching eecc travels right now they went to mexico with the kids so i i'm gonna binge watch and then i'm gonna go for a walk it it looks like it's not gonna rain so i'll get out there just bring you along i'll see you guys in a minute thanks okay i had to come back and tell you <clears throat> that was a burger I got to pause this. Hold on. The kids are... Oh, Jason's having a beer. <laughs> hey, that's a good episode so far. If you haven't checked out their channel, that's pretty cool. I like those guys. They're really, really cool people. Great family. Anyway, um, dinner was good. <laughs> well, now I have to do the hard part. <clears throat> I have to do the dishes. I have a spatula, some tongs, and a spoon, and a fork. 
man, see that griddle is cool. Yeah, I have to clean the griddle. It's turn it on high, scrape it off, and clever it. <laughs> it's nothing. So, uh, yeah, that saves so much work, I tell you. That's the best griddle I've ever had. Um, for camping, I mean. I had a, when I used to do uh, tent camping, I had a burner that was would go on top of a two burner stove and it worked similar to that but it was not as easy so winter i just posted the cheeseburger on my uh facebook jeffrey's adventures and uh i'm, I'm just watching the bell go ding ding <laughs> that's kind of fun to watch anyway um yeah if you haven't uh looked at my new facebook group it's jeffrey's adventures it's super easy to remember uh go ahead and click in on there a lot of stuff i i post that you don't see in the videos so go for it i'll see you guys in a minute i'm gonna go get these dishes done <sighs> and then i'm gonna go for a walk because i ate that uh I didn't eat both of them. I, I couldn't. They were damn good, though. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. All right, dishes are done. Dishes are done. The Blackstone's put away. And I see a little glimpse of some sunlight. It's not much. It's still clouds, but I'll take it. Look at... That's a nice campsite there. I like the view in the back. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, this one's nice too. Little, little tight getting in in an RV. It's a small, too small. But I like the campfire. How big it is, the area. Okay. Oh, look at that. So all those are campgrounds in the summertime. They're all closed right now. I get it. But, uh, yeah, so those are all wide open. Only boondocking in those. That's all for tents. Tents, tents are boondocking. So, yeah, I think I mentioned this yesterday. If you boondock, you know, it's a lot cheaper. You know, the hookups, you're paying for the electricity with <laughs> and the sewer. One thing I haven't seen here is a dump station. So most of them have dump stations. All right, let's go take a look. Oh, nice. All right. The wind isn't too bad, I hope. I have my my little windbreaker on, my super mic breaker. But it's expected to be windy. Wow, how pretty, huh? Nobody here. It's gorgeous. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but there's some uh, rock formations out there. And there's one with a hole in it, like the one in Cabo San Lucas. Look at this beauty. I can't, you can't make up the difference if you have the opportunity to do this. It's just phenomenal. Here, so I'm gonna take a peek over here. So I'm on top of the mound here. As you can see now, there's the campground. So all those are wide open. When Cheryl and I came last year, we were camped over there uh, by that, on the other side where those trees are. That was a nice campsite. pretty cool all right i'm going ahead back if you uh, just repeating in case the wind noise was bad 
but uh, heading back to the RV now. I'm gonna go watch the rest of EECC. We're in there in Mexico for New Year's. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I I uh, I got 5G here, so uh, just data. I don't have any cell service. No cell service is kind of weird. All data. And the reason why I only have data is because my uh, I have a little MiFi that is uh, changeable between networks. So I plugged in AT&T and I get everything in data here. But uh, T-Mobile, there's no data here. It's really funny. I, I traveled all the way to Minnesota and back on a road trip. And T-Mobile was uh, and every, we went to uh, uh, 11 states and 23 yeah it was like 23 cities and we only had one day that we didn't have cell, good cell service so you know i just figured it'd be okay it's funny i get to talk to you all but nobody's here to talk back to me that's that's a vlogger for you <laughs> oh this one's a really nice sight Oh, I like how the, the tree has the moss on it. D27. Oh, yeah. What a beauty, huh? Look at that. Hey. This is a beautiful campsite. Duly noted. D27. Yeah, I'd put my hammock between those two trees in the summertime when it's warm. Yeah, nice. All right. Yeah, that's boondocking though. So, no electricity. Just just note that. Oh, the mosquitoes are out. Oh, me and mosquitoes. No bueno. Gosh, where were we? We were staying at a KOA, I think, in Montana. Beautiful KOA. And um, <laughs> I went out to barbecue and I came... I was in my shorts and flip-flops and I by the time I finished cooking I had about 50 mosquito bites on my legs and it, I was so miserable I just wanted to itch my leg off <laughs> my legs <laughs> funny anyway so thanks for hanging out with me hey this might be a good time for you to smash that like button you know that helps me I want it, I want this channel to grow, so you doing that helps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, now's a good time. Go down there and click that button, subscribe. And uh, if you want to see the content as it comes out, hit the notification button. Thanks for watching today. I hope you're enjoying my adventures. I sure am. And uh, thanks for being a part of it. Talk to you soon.